Well, Turkey's uh, president has just signed a controversial new law that tightens government control over the judiciary. Let's go straight to Anita McNaught, who is in Istanbul for us. And Anita, what more can you tell us about this law? Well, this law has been an extremely controversial one. It uh, basically gives the government now much more power over the Turkish judiciary. The Supreme Council of Judges and Prosecutors is the body responsible for appointments, for disciplinary measures and also for where judges end up serving. And as you know, in recent times in Turkey, one of the things that's characterized the political upheaval here in the wake of the launch of the, of the corruption investigation on December the 17th last year is that a lot of judges and prosecutors got reshuffled around the country, an attempt by the government to essentially break what they saw as a covert network working within the judicial system. This is the government's second move on the judiciary and the actions of the president have been seen uh, as a sort of a, a weather vane here in Turkey. The president meant to occupy a sort of neutral position in Turkish politics but of course he was a senior minister in, uh, in the ruling party before he became president. Many Turks were wondering where he would stand as these issues of uh, changing the power of the government, changing the influence of the government became increasingly controversial and certainly on the issue of the judiciary the, uh, the president has fallen behind the government's reforms of the legislation. Now, Anita, more protests are expected today. We can see the police gathered there behind you. Uh, what's happened so far? Well, what I'm standing on the sidelines of is a rally of the opposition CHP party. Now, they've convened this rally in the wake of the release of the recordings, allegedly, of the Prime Minister and his son, which came out on Monday in Turkey and allegedly show the two of them discussing how to remove large amounts of cash from the family home. Now, these recordings uh, were immediately removed from YouTube. Uh, the leader of the CHP presented them in Parliament yesterday using his parliamentary immunity. That broadcast was cut by the major television networks. And uh, many protesters in Turkey, many protesters uh, affiliated with the opposition party, but also not affiliated with the opposition party, feel that uh, the chance to analyze what exactly these tapes represented has been denied them. But this is a broader protest here about the corruption investigations, uh, about the government's moves, and of course a chance for the opposition party to start putting uh, a shape to its pre-local election campaign. A very important milestone in Turkish politics coming up on March the 30th, seen as a litmus test of the government's popularity and its ability to retain control in Turkey in such a turbulent time. All right, Anita, thank you very much. Anita McNaught there in Istanbul, Turkey.